While many people are stocking up on toilet paper and other household necessities, another thing that is selling out is guns. Local 23's Scotty Vargas joins us live from a local gun shop that has sold out of merchandise during this pandemic. Karina? Brenda, this local gun shop behind me is one of the many gun shops in the Rio Grande Valley who has seen a spike in gun and ammunition purchases. And the COVID-19 pandemic could be the reason for it. As of now, we're pretty much sold out of uh, everything that has been in high demand. Brian Guerra is the owner of the Lone Star Gun Shop in Harlingen. With empty gun racks and empty shelves, this is how his shop has been looking like for the past couple weeks. It's no secret the coronavirus outbreak has people worrying. Guerra says these panic purchases are quite common in these situations. But anytime you have any type of worry like this where people have to shelter in place and stay at home and they know that their supplies are limited, they usually will look at what, if we, what, if, what happens if we need to protect our home and our supplies. With the large increase in gun and ammunition purchases, Guerra says there is no timeline of when they will be receiving more ammo from their supplier. We did put in an order of stuff before everything did start getting a little hectic, uh, but our suppliers are backed up. As far as ammunition goes, they have actually given us no date as to when they can start delivering ammunition again. And if you are thinking of buying a gun or ammunition, Guerra wants to remind people that it is a purchase that should not be taken lightly. Uh, it's not something that uh, you should consider uh, like toilet paper. This is a very uh, uh, dangerous product if not used properly. We tell people when they come in and they're not familiar with firearms or they're just wanting to get one just in case that we remind them of safe storage. We remind them of proper use of a firearm. Now, Lone Star Guns is currently closed to the public because of the stay-at-home order, but people could still purchase their firearms online and have them sent here where they're still uh, picking up the shipments. Reporting live in Harlingen, Karina Vargas, Local 23 News. Brenda? All right, Karina, thank you. Also, keep in mind that rules have not changed. You still have to pass a federal background check for all firearm purchases.